Then the Gestapo took me away from my father, and that's the last time I saw my father. I couldn't even hug him. They won't let me. I met an exceptional man in Brooklyn, Martin Greenfield. He's a Holocaust survivor, and he went from being a survivor of the Holocaust to being the tailor to stars and presidents. Martin is now 80 years old, but when he was 15 years old, he was taken to Auschwitz, where his family was murdered. They, they... They tattooed us. A4406. He was sent to the tailor shop, and in those conditions, that's actually where he found his life's vocation. He had never used a needle in his life before, but when he showed up, the person there in the tailor shop expected him to be a tailor, and he said that he is just a kid, he doesn't know how to sew, and they gave him the job to wash the Nazis' shirts. One of the shirts he was washing ripped, and he had to repair it for fear of the Nazis. And that's how he got his first taste of tailoring, and that's how he first learned his craft. I spoke to him about the celebrities, about the presidents that he has made, that he has dressed, and he told me the story of his first encounter with President Bill Clinton. I go down, and I read the fox from Hillary. Dear Martin, we would like you to come up to measure my husband. He said that President Clinton had his first white tie event when he was president and he needed tails. So his wife, Hillary Clinton, faxed him a letter inviting him to the White House just a couple days later so that he could dress Bill Clinton for this affair. He also spoke about the first time he met President Obama. He said that he, President Obama wears his suits on TV, but in person, he told me this little secret, President Obama actually prefers casual clothing. Uh, if you want to check it out, Martin wrote a book, and it's called Measure of a Man.